So the root of the word alchemy is al. The root of the word alkaline is al. But al can be reversed to la, which is the, a musical note, which denotes the color blue, which is the frequency of blue, um, which is magical. But then uh, la is also goes back to four, which takes us back to 22, right? So in the Sephir Yetzirai, Sephir Yetzirai, right, which I'm going to put on, on here as well, and we've spoke about this before, I've, I've been through, did a big reading on it, there are 22 letters that the force that they call God uh, also has to, is bound by the, the rules of this universe, which is based upon letter, number, letter and number. Uh, light and sound, they are also intertwined and operate upon different frequencies and tones. So the, there are 22, they, it's uh, Aleph, which represents air, but it doesn't actually represent air, which is talking about gases, 22 principles, 22 gases principles that are, that, that are, that are upon a sphere, a sphere, which is a toroidal field. But that La, which is the 22, again, goes back to the soul because the soul there was a movie called soul as well uh the soul goes back to four goes back to the to 22 which is the same as orp orp goes back to 22 right so there's there are 22 principles that make up all reality within any toroidal field right so every week i've been uh showing the progression of these fields right now so here you can see we've got a cut a few this one's here so that you can see there you can actually see it glistening the crystal the light within it of the of the the gold that's the gold plasma there right there's a different gold here which has a slightly different has a different hue it is a different color right but what these what the fields are the fields themselves so each planet we go back to alchemy again each planet has a metal the metal it's the fields so what happens is the fields of the metals manifest in physical form as the metals that reside within the earth that manifest the physical matter that we reside within also in the sapphire yet it also explains what i've been explaining within this series that i've been doing that god is the devil is within the field has the potential for evil actually residing inside of the Toroida field, which is what we perceive to be, what we perceive to be evil. We demonize what we do not understand, and we've always demonized what we do not understand, right? And what we do not understand is the positive polarity of the field. So for example, so when the fields themselves, so these, so what this is, the reason this is really key and important is, is that these fields, they, they take away the weaker and they replace it with strength. They take, away, they take away weakness and they, they replace it with the stronger, right? So the, what, what, what happens is, 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 is this. Unlike anything else that you usually use, unlike the things that we usually work with, right? Uh, the fields are different. So the positive force, the positive force. So here you've got the, the ORP tester. Now, usually when you have a negative force, a negative alkaline and a negative charge, there is usually a, 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 a alkaline reading to go with it. So the alkaline blue and purple, which is the frequency again, usually goes with the negative charge of any substance. So if this was Coca-Cola, it would be acidic. It would be red, alkaline red. But this would also have a positive reading as well because it's a, a matter principle. And it's something within in matter that has been created by man which is an expression of, of evil. But the difference is here is when I, when I put this into this purple light here, yeah, you'll see it's barely, it's minus 46, right? So it's only carrying a slightly negative charge, right? Only slightly. If that was something like an aged urine or something, then it would be minus 300. But the difference is, is, is this. When I take out a, a, a reader, a pH reader, as soon as I dip this in here, as soon as I dip it in, right, what's going to happen is you're going to see something that you will not find with any, any usual matter upon the face of this earth. And the reason for that is, is this stuff doesn't come from this earth. It doesn't come from this earth, right? 
And the reason is, is because the fields themselves, they eat, they, they, they're incoming, incoming via the sun. Now, so I'm here to prove that because what happened is, is which I'm going to put up on the screen as well. These two plants here at the back, they died. They died. They were dead. Totally dead. Right. But what actually happened, what happened was, what happened is, is that when we were, I was able to bring them back to life because the fields are so strong. So you see here now, if you look here, you see that purple there, over 8.4. Really, it's about 10. But this tester that I'm using, it tests magnesium and all sorts. But that's the pH there you can see, right? Now, now this, this has a pH of, of 10, but it's also carrying the same positive charge that we perceive to be evil. That positive charge makes things grow. So if you look at these melon plants, and if you look at, you see these cabbage here? So this is day 20 now. These cabbage at the back, they were sprayed with the gold fields because we're using the CO2 fields to grow these. They don't have any normal water. Maybe they've had it once or twice. I've deliberately only fed them on the CO2 and the zinc. So what, what the, the reason this is key is because the plants, when you work with these fields, which is what's gonna happen as we go in, as we continue on, people don't make, we fully realize that I'm actually talking about working with real magnetic toroidal fields that reside within the unseen layer of the reality, right? So what they do, what they do is, is that they cause things to grow because the positive force that is within this here is not being used by mundane material man. It's being, it's coming from the divine creating forces. Yeah. So it means that they are being used in harmony, in harmonious balance. So what's actually happening is, is that these melon plants and these plants here, so these, these here, you can see the leaves are much bigger. These ones, these ones here are much bigger, right? Than these ones, because they've had the gold and the field strength on the gold is much, much stronger. It always takes away the weaker and replaces it with the stronger. That is what is happening. So in the reality that we're experiencing here, so obviously this gold will be the sun, right? But it, it's, a, it's the purple, purple rain, purple light. So it has already been, already been proven, scientifically proven, yeah? Which, you, which we can see there. Uh, that the violet light quickens their development. So Mr. Young of the University of Geneva has placed the eggs of frogs and fishes in similar conditions and found that violet light quickens their development. So violet light quickens the, quickens the development of material matter. That also includes ourselves as the soul. What we know is this, is, is this. When we use zinc or when we use these gold plasmas, they take you and they put you outside of this physical reality. And they put you in a state of ecstasy that is, this one here is overwhelming. You can see, look how, look how, look how that's gone, right? So and you can see the blue there. The blue is the bicarbonate. So what does the blue do? So this is the wisdom is residing, not just within the mental sphere, it's, it's all within the physicality. The blue, the bicarbonate is blue. So the bicarb cleans things. So it cleans things. That blue frequency cleans things. It cleans the body, right? So that's what bicarbonate could. It can even clean the mildew off these plants. But these plants, these melon plants, you've seen them a couple of weeks ago when they first started. Now look at them. Now look at them. And they will grow at a rate, and they're growing at a rate that is you, you, that man cannot see. It's a rate that we would, it's not something that we're used to experiencing. So the fields are very key and important to us because they are going to do things for humanity that we have never seen, that we've never thought could be possible. Yep. So that is why going forward, I'm always saying I'm going to start showing people how to capture, not just show you how to capture them, but show you how to create a but to capture abundant gases right, in, a, in an abundant fashion. And we're able to increase the nanocarbons, which increases the amount, the size of the gases that we're actually able to accelerate towards it, into the magneto dielectric field. So within the atmosphere are the fields of the metals, which is the fields coming from the seven planetary forces seven planetary uh, uh, the, 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 the gods that are above us right and they repel their fields and those fields manifest as metals but those fields to when we interact with them also they take us on a, on a more into a more immortal state of being and an immortal and in a, uh, you know a perfected reality where we're able to repel all forms of negativity 
are able to make things grow like this. We don't need GMOs. These things repel GMOs. They take away the negative. So you've got ge genetically modified bugs or whatever you've got on your stuff. It just removes it. So your soul growth, these plants, when you hug a tree, you know this. So when you hug the tree and you cleanse the body, you operate on a more of a gassy state, which is what you're doing. You can feel the loving, the love from the tree. That is your soul connecting with the soul of the tree. It's the same with these plants. The feeling that we feel from these, from these, these gases here, the plants also feel them as well. So the stars, the plants, and the body were able to enter. They are getting married by these fields. You can see the light just dwindling in the fields right there. All three of them combined bring forth spirit and matter. Unite, unite as one. So that's why I've shown this because it's very, very key. Because we can see here. We don't need anything. We just need to operate in the higher, the higher aspects of nature, and then we're able to access magic.